nerves or excitement ever change for the opening game, no matter how long you play in the league? I think there's always excitement uh, for the start of a new year. We, uh, I feel that our team uh, has had a real good training camp. We've, we're happy with the group that, that we've got and how we've, uh, we've added some new guys that have really fit in well. So. I'm uh, I'm excited to get going. Yeah, but Guy and Cozen and Percy who are likely to make their NHL debut tomorrow, do you say anything to those guys, either to calm them down or pump them up and just kind of let them know what the emotions might be like? I think I think overall you uh, you congratulate them and uh, let them know that uh, basically just to enjoy it. For for me, my message to, to guys that are starting is to, to have fun with it, to, to enjoy the, the experience of it. And uh, I think that both those guys have came in and had really good camps for our team, played uh, played very well in the exhibition games, and they're uh, they're a big part of our team. I think that he adds, uh, he adds a lot to our team. He plays the game hard night in and night out. He's very smart. That's something that I only got the opportunity to play one exhibition game with him, but I've been, uh, been paired with him in practice, and you can you can see how smart he is. He he's good with the puck in tight areas. He makes uh, he makes real good short plays in the in the defensive zone to uh, to relieve pressure. And I think that I really uh, I enjoyed playing with him to, to start there in, in the exhibition season. Even though it was only one game, uh, I thought that we uh, we gelled pretty quickly. Stuart, Percy's confidence, quiet and efficient enough that maybe goes beyond just being 21 years of age and a pro hockey player for just a year. I think that, I think that, with the way that he carries himself, he carries himself not the age that he that he is. He he carries himself a lot older, not only on the ice but off the ice. But on the ice, he's very. Uh, He's very calm with the puck, and I think that that's a, a big strength of his. When he's when he's breaking out of the zone, you can see he'll, he'll hold the puck for, for an extra second to, to make that play, and it's been uh, it's been very noticeable. Do you remember your your emotions the night before your first game, your first ever initial game? Uh, I don't uh, I don't remember my emotions the night before, but I remember uh, I remember the emotions the day of. It's uh, it's a pretty exciting experience, and. You remember your first exhibition game, but then you remember your uh, your first regular season game. Those are two that really stand out. How'd it go for you? Yeah, good, but it, the energy that you, that you have, the excitement. There's a lot of built up. Uh, there's a lot of built up excitement, but you, you, I really enjoyed the experience, and that's something that I, I try to pass on is that you you have to enjoy it. Um, it's it's your first, and uh, you have to take it in and really enjoy it. The Calgary-Edmonton rivalry, are they as comparable as Toronto and Montreal now having experienced both? I think they're, uh, they're similar, but being in uh, the Toronto-Montreal rivalry, I think there's more history there. And they're, they're exciting games to play and they're exciting games to be a part of, and I'm, uh, I'm excited to, to get going with. It doesn't start any better if you look at it. Uh, Toronto-Montreal in, in Toronto, it's, uh, those are the games you want to be a part of.